What's up guys and welcome to Wall Street Millennial. On this channel, we cover all things related to stocks and investing. In this video, we're going to go over some of the greatest gains and losses on the Wall Street best form over the past week so we can learn from other traders' experiences. If you like this content, do me a big favor and hit that like button. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. With that being said, let's get into the first fail. First, we have user Very Educated Investor, whose GameStop YOLO did not go exactly as he had planned. As GameStop stock started to spike on February 24th, he thought he would get in on the action by buying 200 strike calls expiring on February 26th and March 5th. In all, he invested more than $260,000 into the Ciolo. During the height of the first squeeze, GameStop's share price exceeded $300, so if that same price level could be replicated, his bet would have made a lot of money. During the most recent squeeze, shares came close to $200 briefly, but then started to precipitously decline and his February 26th calls expired worthless. At the time of his post, his mark-to-market loss was already $175,000, or 67%, and since then, his position has decreased even further. User Hockey Cookie says he should have bought in the money calls instead, so that there would be a lower probability of them expiring worthless. But the OP points out that whether you buy in the money or out of the money calls, either way you will lose money if the stock goes down. And with out of the money calls, you get greater potential for upside, which compensates you for the greater risk of the downside. It seems this Wall Street Bets user is a pretty sophisticated investor and understood the risk of his options yellow before he entered into it. Hopefully, the quarter million dollars he put into the trade was money he could afford to lose. Next we have user Hey It's David, who posted a massive 3,021% gain on GameStop calls. He held 54 strike calls expiring on March 5th, which he bought for $335 total. Now, those calls are worth $10,455. Needless to say, GameStop's current price is now almost $50 above his strike price, which is why their value went up so much. However, with expiry coming only one week from now, it might have been a good idea for him to sell the calls and buy the equivalent number of shares of GameStop. The price of the calls, $104 each, is even more than the price of a share of GameStop. If GameStop's stock price stays at roughly the same level at expiry, they will only pay out about $47 each. That means the majority of the value of the calls is in the time value of the option. So unless you think that GameStop will fall significantly below the strike price of $54 by the end of the week, holding calls instead of stock would suffer significantly because of theta. Luckily, these games seem to be safe for now for our friend. User Adrenaline Rush 38 says to make sure to save some of that money for taxes, to which the OP replies by asking if he can pay the taxes in the form of a wheelbarrow full of nickels. It turns out that a 30% tax rate would mean a $3,036 tax bill, worth about 61,000 nickels, or 677 pounds worth of the coins. As long as you're strong enough, a good wheelbarrow would indeed be able to carry that. Congratulations on your GameStop gains. Next up, we have user Alpha Grey Wolf, who was one of the few Wall Street Bets users this week who managed to make gains on something other than GameStop or AMC. Referencing FANG stocks to include Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google, he predicts that Airbnb will one day replace Facebook as one of the tech giants. He now owns 420 shares of Airbnb, as well as 5 contracts of 200 strike calls expiring in May. Airbnb stock has done very well since its IPO last year, although it has recently experienced some significant volatility. Most recently, that meant a more than 10% rise in only a couple days. The OP's heavy exposure to Airbnb caused him to be able to profit from that rise to the tune of $8,500 on his stock and $6,500 on his options, for a total of $15,000 of one-day profit altogether. Despite a nice one-day gain, some commenters think that Airbnb is an overvalued stock, especially considering that they lost $4 billion in the last quarter. Also, their valuation has tripled since the beginning of the pandemic, despite the pandemic being Armageddon for travel and leisure. The OP responds that he thinks that most of the most recent quarterly loss is due to IPO costs and that Airbnb is actually much closer to profitability than other tech unicorns. That, and the fact that they have proven to be a much more resilient business than the competing hotel businesses, contributes to their prospects going forward. Some people disagree strongly about the bull thesis on Airbnb, but others just appreciate the fact that he holds 420 shares exactly. Others play along with the Avatar The Last Airbender reference. Congratulations on your one-day gains. Next off, we have user R. Carson, who posted a screenshot of his portfolio value tanking $450,000 in just 4 days, which is a new personal record for him. His portfolio value started out at $750,000, so this represents a 60% loss. He lost $200,000 when CCIV stock crashed. CCIV is the high-flying SPAC that recently announced that they'd be merging with luxury EV maker Lucid Motors. While Lucid has a lot of hype, that stock got ahead of itself and corrected down more than 47% from the peak. He lost the remaining $250,000 by his long positions in various other SPACs that all saw sharp declines during the recent market sell-off. The declines in those stocks was amplified by the fact that he was using a significant amount of margin to lever up his bets. 
In all, he had approximately $2.5 million of equity positions at the peak. In the comments section, fellow Wall Street Bets users ask how he was able to take on so much leverage with margin, as the OP claims that his broker allowed him to take on 7x leverage with margin. While most retail brokers like Robinhood only allow a maximum of 2x margin, many brokers offer portfolio margin, which allows users with a portfolio of over $125,000 to take on significantly more margin than regular accounts. The OP started off with just $25,000 and levered up with as much margin as he could. This worked well in the bull market and allowed him to supercharge his gains. Once his portfolio grew to over $125,000, he started using portfolio margin and took his leverage to the next level. This allowed him to make even more gains as many of the SPACs he owned skyrocketed over the past few months on speculative trading. But you can't make such large gains without taking on serious risk, and when the SPAC started tanking, his portfolio came crashing down even faster than it went up, and he received a margin call forcing him to sell at the bottom. This was a gut-wrenching loss because it took him a year and a half to build his portfolio up to $750,000, and in just 4 days, most of it disappeared. He has a high-paying job with a $160,000 salary, but even with this, it would take him many years of hard work in his wage cage to make back his $450,000 loss. We wish you luck on your future plays. Next up, we have a massive gain on AMC. User devgru 2 posted a $51,000 single-day gain, along with a total gain approaching 6 figures. AMC participated in the mini short squeeze of GameStop following the ousting of the old CFO, and has held strong at around $8 since. It still has a significant short interest, and some people seem to think it still has room to run. Some people in the comments section challenged the OP's commitment to AMC by pointing out that he still has $3,000 just sitting as cash. But if you think about it, that's less than 1.5% of his total portfolio value, and could be used to buy the dips. In any case, a $100,000 gain is still awesome, even if it's not enough to buy a new Lamborghini. Congratulations! Next off, we have user R34P3Rex, who is down $102,000, or 25% on his position in Citrus Pharmaceuticals, a penny stock that has declined in value by more than 90% over the past 5 years. The company makes various products including an antibiotic lock solution, an anti-inflammatory drug, and also partnering with other pharmaceutical companies to get novel drugs approved. While this all sounds great, if you do some DD, you'll see that the company's fundamentals are not very strong. In the most recent quarter, they generated zero revenue and incurred an $8 million loss, which is almost double their loss from the same quarter in 2019, where they also generated zero revenue. While many early stage companies don't turn a profit, investing in a company with no sales at all is on a whole different level of speculation. And Citrus Pharmaceuticals isn't an early stage company, it was founded more than a decade ago in 2007. The OP doesn't explain why he decided to invest more than $400,000 into such a company. Instead, he's just happy that he was able to generate some high quality loss porn for the Wall Street Bets community. User Trillion Market Cap suggests that the only way he can hope to turn his losing investment around is to hire a Twitter marketing team to orchestrate a pump and dump. Such a strategy is very illegal, and this Wall Street Bets user will probably just have to admit defeat and take the loss. This loss just goes to show the importance of doing your DD, especially when you are investing in penny stocks. Alright, guys, that wraps it up for this video. If you like the content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. Also, check out our second channel, WSM Research, where we post regular updates on high growth tech stocks that might have significant runways ahead of them. In the meantime, make sure you're following us on TikTok and Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.